Part 20, Stock Dividends, Splits, and Treasury Stock. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our email, our phone number, and a source, an educational source, where we got a lot of the information for this video. We had talked on the previous video, number 19, about stock dividends, splits, and treasury stock, and calculating weighted average common stock shares outstanding. What I want to talk about this time is the journal entries that happen with these transactions and what the impact is on the equity part of the balance sheet. Switching to a uh, balance sheet example I've been using for the Levi Jeans Company, you'll see in the equity section that we have 20,000 shares of stock with a par value of 10. We have retained earning of $60,000. So what I've put up here is the Levi Jeans Company equity journal entry. So I want to go through some transactions that affect the equity section of the balance sheet and talk about them. These are the same types of transactions that we use in the weighted average discussion. So on February 1st, the, fir the firm Levi Jeans issues 10,000 shares of common stock with a par value of 10 for $120,000. And as we've talked about before, Cash comes in the door for the total amount of money, 120000 The portion that goes to common stock is the number of shares that are issued, 10000 times $10 par value. So we should put here, to be clear, the 10000 par value. It's the par value times the number of shares that, that gets listed in the common stock account. And the par value is just an accounting entry. It really doesn't have a lot of meaning beyond just simple financial presentation. The remainder, the difference between the cash and the common stock, goes into additional paid-in capital. Often it's stated as additional paid-in capital in excess of par. So you can see that our outstanding shares went from 20,000 plus 10 to 30,000 shares. On March 1st, we issue a stock dividend. Instead of issuing a dividend for cash, we give a shareholder more stock. 10% means that we're going to multiply the 30,000 shares times 10% and issue 3,000 new shares. We happen to issue them for $15 a share. That's what the uh, what's going to go into the other section of the balance sheet. So our retained earnings goes down because we are giving something out of value that we would otherwise keep in our earnings. So retained earnings goes down by debiting. The par value of the stock, 3,000 shares times $10 a share, goes in common stock. And additional paid in capital is credited as well because we have shares outstanding. Therefore, the common stock and additional paid in capital accounts must change. I made an asterisk here. Since the dividend is less than 20 to 25 shares a percent of the shares outstanding, we consider it a small stock dividend and this is the accounting treatment that we use. So we went from 30,000 shares back on February 1st. We add 3,000, so our new total is 33,000 shares. The third transaction is we buy treasury stock. And treasury stock is defined as shares that are issued and outstanding held by the public that are repurchased by the corporation. They could be repurchased for a lot of different reasons, including Maybe you repurchase your stock because you want to give stock to employees as a benefit to retain them at the company. The treasury stock account gets debited, cash gets credited or reduced because we're buying the shares. And I'd like to note a few things here. The first is, is that although the stock is repurchased, it might be reissued. In other words, another way of saying it, the stock is not retired. You can think of retired stock as out of circulation. Retired stock is stock that's repurchased and not to be reissued, which means it would just be taken off the table completely, taken out of circulation. The treasury stock we're going to see in, in a minute is reissued, um, at least some of it later on down the road. We also say that these treasury shares are issued, they're still in circulation, but they're no longer outstanding because outstanding means held by the public. These shares, these treasury stock shares, are no longer held by the public. 
And finally, Treasury stock serves as a contra account to shareholders' equity. You'll note that Treasury stock is debited, our other equity accounts get credited. So in the balance sheet, Treasury stock reduces the equity accounts by debiting. We have 33,000 shares outstanding in this step above, which was March 1st. We had 33,000 shares. We bought back 5,000. So now the number of shares that are outstanding that is held by the public declines to 28,000. Next in June, we get a stock split, which means for every one share, you now have three. This is just a memo entry. Because the only things that change is the shares outstanding go up by three. So we take the 28,000 shares multiplied by three. We now have 84,000 shares outstanding. And the par value is divided by three. It goes from 10 down to $3.33. So you can see that our share is outstanding triple as a result of the stock split. Finally, we're going to reissue 4,000 of those shares we bought back into Treasury stock, and we're going to put it back into the public's hands. Cash goes up because the public buys it. We're going to use as the Treasury stock value, and again, this is a decline, Crediting Treasury stock is a decline because we debited Treasury stock up here when we increased it. So we're crediting to reduce it, and you see we reduce it by that $13 a share cost, which was the cost when we repurchased the shares up here. So the Treasury stock, $13 of it, is debited, reducing Treasury stock, and the remainder, that amount above 13 we call additional paid in capital also, but in this case it's segregated. The additional paid in capital is specifically to treasury stock. Here's our journal entries down here. You'll see that um, we issued common stock twice. We had additional paid in capital twice, crediting, equity entry, equity entry. Our retained earnings were reduced when we issued that treasury stock. Treasury stock is created by debiting when we buy back the shares here and treasury stock is credited when we sell the shares back to the public here. And finally you'll see that additional paid in capital is segregated for treasury stock when we resell those shares to the public, which reduces, gets rid of treasury stock. That's the end of part 20. Here's our YouTube channel. For small group live chats, very inexpensive way to learn more. We do the first Saturday of the month every month. We do one-on-one -on -one live tutoring and live chats on a one-on-one -on -one basis using gotomeeting.com. Here's our email address and our phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.